Fellas, AC here. Welcome to another review. This time it's an Aqua di Palma. It's been ages since I've reviewed an Aqua di Palma. It is Aqua di Palma Colonia Essenza. This fragrance was released in 2010 and I've got an interesting story to tell you. When I first smelt this fragrance, it reminded me of my grandmother's soap that she used to use in the wash basin. And I used to hate that smell. And I was revolted by this fragrance. I couldn't take it. I couldn't understand why this fragrance was loved. In fact, this fragrance is relished by the connoisseurs, people who know a lot about fragrances. I hated it. And then suddenly something clicked and now I just love it. In fact, I think it's very, very close to a complete masterpiece. So 2010 and this fragrance, you know, when it starts off, this is why I hated it. It's very screechy, screechy, very, very old fashioned, old soap like smell. There's a huge blast of petty grain and that petty grain is bitter and screechy, almost. Yeah, it is repulsive to start with and then it changes. And this is the reason I hated this fragrance. But what it is, is in a nutshell, this fragrance, the opening, is the classical Italian cologne. No sweetness, Pettigrain, Neroli, um, Sicilian lemon, um, bergamot, and orange. Orange, bitter part of orange, the orange rind. It doesn't smell like orange fruit. And it's very, very um, sprightly. It's very zesty, bitter, zesty, orangey, if you can, if you see what I mean, but bitter, very bitter and quite, quite screechy. Neroli comes in a little later and just smoothens things out a little later. Hmm. I can feel the, I can smell the Neroli. I can feel the texture of the fragrance changing from fizzy and bitter and light to something which has got a little bit of volume. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance when it starts to develop. It is structured so unusually that it'll really knock your socks off. It smells like a cologne style fragrance, right? And it's called Colonia. And it is cologne concentrate in, in composition quality. But the fragrance starts to become resinous and spicy and bulky. And this is what got me. This is why I got converted. I love fragrances which transform. This one becomes more and more resinous and it has this beautiful note of clove. I love cloves in fragrances, especially if it's a very citrusy and zesty fragrance. Clove just balances things out. It's not very spicy, it's slightly oily. It's, it brings the fragrance into the masculine, muscular masculine territory. And again, clove is coupled with lily of the valley and two spices, rosemary, and I think nutmeg like spice, you know, but rosemary is very sort of um, <clears throat> prominent along with cloves and two flowers, lily of the valley and rose. Lily of the valley can make a fragrance smell a little bit dated because lily of the valley was, you know, perfumer's favorite ingredient, if you like, in the late 1920s till the Second World War. Lily of the valley features in all the iconic fragrances. And that's what the, it's done here. It makes the fragrance smell a little bit vintage. And then the last bit, even more fun, beautiful resinous patchouli, very ambery and musk and oak moss. It's just a party. It starts off somewhere, it heads somewhere and then finishes somewhere else. It's such a beautiful fragrance. It's got three main elements to it, as I explained, you know. Initially, it's cologne-like. Then there's this barbershop-like smell or cologne mixed with barbershop because of heavy presence of neroli and petit grain mixed with that floral heart and spices. It has prominent barbershop smell. And then it goes into a barbershop plus chipre because of patchouli, oak moss, musk, and very resinous and ambery. There's also a beautiful note of rose. I forgot to mention that's probably the reason I get this sheepra like closure 
to the fragrance. What a fragrance. Love it. Absolutely love this fragrance. So upsides and downsides. Number one upside. If you like complex fragrances, fragrances that develop, fragrances that have a lot of stories or subplots all beautifully, you know, uh, tied in, craftfully, you will love this fragrance. This is, this is a connoisseur's delight. Number two, the fragrance has the body that makes the fragrance feel as if you're wearing a vintage fragrance. But the top and the dry down of the fragrance are very modern. So again, it's one of those uh, fragrances that will always pique your interest. If you are into vintage fragrances, you'll love it. If you're into masculine fragrances, you'll love it. It has a lot of character. Number three, if you're looking for super elegant fragrances, if you like soapy fragrances, another thing I forgot to mention was the Neroli is so soapy. And when it's combined with that patchouli and that ambery feel, it smells like a luxurious handmade soap. Yeah, very creamy, soapy and absolutely amazing smell. So if you like elegant soapy fragrances, you are in for a super treat right elegant this is a masculine elegant soapy interesting complex fragrance love it love it so downsides very mature lily of the valley cloves the soapy feel the carbolic smell of neroli pettigrain mostly pettigrain that smell is of a mature um genre so if you're in your 20s i would absolutely tell you to Definitely go and test it. See if it, you like it. But it, this is basically a very well um, kept, looked after 40 plus gentleman. Stylish, mature, understands life and understands when to speak, when not to. He's a very cultured person, but very well built. This is muscular. This fragrance has this muscular feel to it. That's a downside. Could be a downside for some people. Right? Number two, compliment factor. Depends on who smells you. If you're a 20 year old wearing to your first date, I would say there are better options. Right? If you're a 40 year old wearing to your first date with a lady in the same kind of age group, maybe a little bit younger, I think you will get complimented because it has this amazing warmth along with the soapiness. It's something that really is for people who understand that fragrances are not just about citruses or sweet fragrances. And similarly, uh, you will be complimented by ladies who understand that. So if you're dating a lady of taste, you'll get a compliment. If uh, your lady is not very you know, sure about fragrances, not very experienced or only likes sweet fragrances, I think she will be quite offended by this because of the notes I mentioned. So this is a double-edged sword. So play it wisely. Uh, those are the two downsides I can think of. Seasons, three seasons, easily. Spring, amazing. Summer, even better. Evening. Autumn, amazing. Daytime, mostly daytime fragrance, but summer, evening, it smells better. When it cools down a little bit. Age groups, I said 40 plus would be the best age group for this. Uh, value for money, absolutely amazing. These are not cheap, yeah? So you're talking about 100 ml, close to 100 pounds, one pound an ml. But the quality and the complexity and the beauty of this fragrance, the masculine beauty of this fragrance, is absolutely worth it. Very high quality um, value for money. <clears throat> performance. Now performance, sometimes it performs beautifully, sometimes it doesn't. I constantly get projection or whiffs of it. So projection, half an hour to one hour. It recedes. Siage, very strong. I will smell it all day. I just have to put two under my shirt, two on my shirt, and I'll smell it all day. I just have to move. So sillage, very high quality materials. Sillage is high. Longevity, high. You'll get at least 10 hours, if not more. It sticks on your skin for a long, long time. Very high quality ingredients and good concentration. These are all cologne concentrate. So superb um, performance. Very high quality as well. Amazing fragrance, really. Um, I think I've covered all aspects, haven't I? Age groups, value for money, compliment factor. Everything is covered. What will I give it? I'm tempted to give it a 10 out of 10. But I understand that these sort of fragrances are not for everybody. 
So there's a small section of people who would get offended by this, absolutely, like I did. So do test it out. But my marks is going to be 9 out of 10, a very high 9 out of 10. One of the most superb, elegant, soapy, masculine, talent style, masculine cologne fragrance. It is only cologne in name. Yeah, it performs like an EDP. 9 out of 10. Hope you enjoy the review, fellas. Take care. Bye-bye.